So the group American Atheists was invited to CPAC, the conservative conference. Then they were uninvited. Then I guess they were invited again. And now we have some video of how an atheist speaker was welcomed amongst a group of conservatives. Let's watch. We have some 68 million millennial voters, about the age of 18 to 34. Of these 68 million, nearly 40% identify as secular. By the numbers, that's more than 25 voters we can't afford to lose in 2016. As conservatives, we've always been a family. Remember, we were the party that formed against slavery. We have preserved the union before, and we have persevered in a changing landscape. Our time to do this again is now. I invite you, come visit the American Atheist booth. Say hi to us. Grab one of our buttons. They're wonderful buttons. Let's do this together. Let's do this as Americans, one and all. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they're just not that into you, is how I would describe that. I feel kind of bad, too. I mean, you want to talk about a tough room. Look, I think, uh, I think I could give a decent speech discussing, you know, the tenets of atheism and the principles of secularism, and I think I could get people into it and happy about it and excited and stuff, but not that room! <laughs> There's uh, no chance any speaker, no matter how dynamic on the issue of atheism, is going to get a room full of the deepest conservatives in the country to go, yes, secularism and atheism. They don't believe in it. They don't agree with it. And then also, keep it real, she's also black and female. And that's like two strikes already if you're talking in a conservative room. And then you add atheists. Oh, dude, that's three strikes. You're out before you even open your mouth. Oh, that was painful to watch. The The article on Raw Story described it as, she got the golf clap. <laughs> That's the, you know, there's only like seven people in the audience in the gallery and you make a putt that's like three feet long. Is the most tepid, like, <laughs> yeah, we're with you. Where are the Christians? Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't like these guys. <laughs> Look, man, it, in all seriousness, it's almost like part of the definition of being an American conservative or an American Republican. I mean, obviously, American Republican, it's, a, it's an American party, so clearly Republican is American. But I digress. Being a Republican or being a conservative in America, that means... Uh, Almost all the time, you're a Christian. I mean, statistically speaking, what is it? Well over 90% of the time, you're a Christian. If you're a conservative in America, or if you're in the Republican Party. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's almost a tautology. It's part of the definition, so... And, and then also she says, conservatives, we beat slavery. No, you didn't. The conservatives were the ones in the Confederacy. The conservatives were the ones fighting to maintain slavery. It's true that Republicans, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican, they fought to end slavery. But back then, the Republicans were the Liberal Party. So the Republicans of that day are the Democrats of today. See, it, so it's stuff like that that always gets under my skin because, like, Sean Hannity does this all the time, too, where, like, he'll talk about, a, you know, the Democrats were the party of the KKK. You ever think about that? Bet you haven't, huh? The Democrats have the history of racism associated with them. And he's talking specifically about Dixiecrats, which are the Southern Democrats. Those were the conservative Democrats. So it, he's not helping his case because all those voters who back then were Dixiecrats, today who are they voting for? Republicans! That's not the group of people who are like, you know, I really like Barack Obama, let me tell you. Can we get some more diversity on that stage, please? They, they're purposefully trying to mislead you. Now, let me just, uh, in conclusion here real fast, let me just give you guys some numbers. According to Pew, 51% of atheists 
and those described as agnostic said that they're liberal, 51%, 32% describe themselves as moderate, and only 13% say conservative. And by the way, if you narrow that down to Republican, I'm sure the number is even smaller, because there's one thing to say you're a conservative, whole other thing to say you're a Republican, because that's part of the party. And the party is amazingly anti-science and, you know, in favor of all this weird religious shit. And you're not going to get atheists that are in favor of that. So very rarely do you have an atheist Republican, which is why, as I said, you have to feel bad for an American atheist speaker at a CPAC convention because that's the hardest room imaginable. They, just, they dislike you before you open your mouth because they associate, in their minds, they associate... Atheism with immorality.